Hey guys, welcome to my top five favorite Legend of Zelda companions. Let's freaking start this! You know what? I really like Navi. Sure, people say she's freaking annoying, saying, hey, listen, hello! But I don't really mind it. I mean, she's not that rude. Right? Right, right? That script. You know what? But she has been there for Link. Sort of. Um, <clears throat> she has been there for Link all of the freaking time in Ocarina of Time. No pun intended. Because, well, she's Link's fairy. She's the only family quote unquote family that Link has because I don't know who knows where Link's parents are who knows they might be dead so I think Navi is a pretty okay <clears throat> companion sure she's annoying but she is very caring until the final until spoiler alert until the final scene of our career of time she leaves Link alone yeah, whatever. But, yeah. What I gotta say. For Navi. Number four. How do I describe Skyward Sword? It's amazing. Oh, I like this music because it's just awesome. But, I'm just saying, I don't actually really like the Loft Wings. Mostly because the Lawlands only appeared in one game. So, I'm taking this number four spot to Epona. Yeah, she doesn't talk. Yeah, she doesn't help that much. But at least she is here in every single Zelda game. Majora's Mask. Reasons. Um, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and, um, I don't think she was here for Wind Waker, sadly. But... For all of those three games, she has been with Link the most. The most. Out of all of these characters, she... Mm -hmm. She is with Link every single step of the way. Well, sort of. Um, but, opponent is a horse. She doesn't really talk, she doesn't really give advice. But at least she is there for Link work with her. Whether Link is tired from, well, playing the Song of Soaring all the time, just exploring the land, exploring turn the field and all that stuff. Apona is there for... Apona is there for boredom. Yes. <laughs> whenever I get bored in... Whenever I get bored in any Zelda game, I just call Apona. She, she's always there for Link. Always. Whether young or old, or turn. Maybe. She is always there. I've got to say, Venna is actually one of the more funner characters of Legend of Zelda. She does have a personality. She doesn't like, annoy you with tons of advice that you already know. And she's actually the most developed character. Now, what I mean by developed is that when the story continues in Twilight Princess, she also changes a bit of personality. Her character changes from a from a little imp that just wants power again to just a very heartwarming character. Her last life, her, her life. Her, her kingdom and life is online whenever she is when the song plays it is very emotional because you actually connected with this character yes you actually connected with this character I just brain farted there um, because well she is dying for, for all we know, she might die if you don't save her life. 
And with Zelda, with her help rega regaining her magic and just and just risking her life for Midna, it just mm, gives me the fears. I'm never going to say that again. Um, but seriously, Midna is one of the greatest characters I've actually ever met. But these two characters actually redeem themselves. On to number two. Okay, here comes my favorite game, Majora's Mask. Tattle. Tattle is one of my favorite fairies. Because why not? More fairies! But anyways, Tattle is actually one of my favorite characters. One of my favorite characters from Majora's Mask. Other than Skull Kid and the Happy Mask Salesman and other characters that I forgot their names of. But anyways, Tattle actually, just like Minna, Tattle develops character. She was once a very, she was once a very um, mischievous, I should say, fairy, um, accompanied by Skull Kid and Tail, his little big, I don't, is she the older sister of Tattle, or is she, I mean, Tail, or is she the younger sister, I don't remember, but. Anyways, Tail is one of my favorite characters, mostly because she, just like, just like Midna, she doesn't want power though, she just wants laughter. Um, but anyways, after a couple of gameplay, you see that, mm, yeah, I can't speak right, okay, you see that Tattle just grows a character gets fond of Link, like most other characters. But anyways, Tattle has a special connection with me. I want fun and games, but I don't want to die. My mom, my mom just came in and just like, asked me if I wanted to eat, and I don't want to eat right now, so uh, yeah. But anyways, Tattle sees, well, this, I got off track for a second. She connects to me because while I want everyone to smile, I don't actually want my life to end. If my friends are, if my friends are being controlled, I feel regret. If everyone is losing lives, I feel disappointment. I feel depressed. And if I ever get a sibling, because I don't have a sibling, um, I would actually help, just like Tattle helped Tail getting the four giants, I forgot what they were called, I think they are called the four giants, anyways, Tattle is just like me. I love fun and games, and I love making people laugh with being cheap smiles with Skull Kid, but I want, I don't want people's lives to end. I don't want my friends to be controlled. I don't want my, I don't want anybody to be depressed and just have to end their life. Tattle is going on this adventure with Link. She is going through bargaining depression she's going through denial anger um, <laughs> bargaining depression and acceptance well she's not she's not going through it but other people are and I just feel that I have a special connection with Tattle. Carrying on with number one. Fee. Why Fee? Well, mostly because she's 
actually quite fond of Link. Like most other characters, but with a special connection. This game is the prequel to all Zelda games. And with that, Fee is the spirit of the Master Sword. And what's Link's main weapon? The Master Sword, that's what. So, in all games, except for Majora's Mask, this... See? Forget what I said about Opona. Fee has been with Link for all of time, whether Link remembers or not. She is the spirit within the Master Sword, and the Master Sword is the most powerful weapon, sort of, in all Zelda games, except for the Mask. But with that said, Fee has taken the cake for number one. Sore, sore, sure, she does get annoying sometimes, just like Navi, but come on. She's amazing. Her backstory just makes me cry. <laughs> Her farewell with Link just makes me again cry. She has been with Link for all of her life. Whether Link doesn't remember or not. Whether Link... Whether she's inside that Master Sword or not. She is still with Link, because the Master Sword is her. As Link wields the Master Sword, Fi has a very strong relationship with Link, because she trusts him. And being the holder of the Master Sword, I said that like a million times already, of course she has a special bond. And that concludes my top five favorite Zelda companions. May the Triforce be with you, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Video, I mean. <laughs>